Hello everyone. In this video, we will guide you how you can use our inventory module. So let us go to our inventory module first of all. So on your left hand side, you will see inventory module option. Please click on this. So uh, I will brief you that what exact features we do have in inventory and what you can do in inventory. So starting from the very first, you can add your items in inventory. So uh, on your right hand side, you can see add single item option. You can click on this and accordingly you can provide all the details of item and can save a new item. Also, uh, you can use the customize option and can customize the item series or you can use add field option to add an additional field like uh, this color field I have added in your item. Uh, going back, you can take the action in bulk as well. You need to go ahead and click on bulk action. And from here, you can add multiple items by using your own Excel file. Up to five items you can add. You can use our download our Excel template and can check that as well. In bulk action, you can update the stock or edit items in bulk, delete items in bulk, import from tally feature is also there by which you can use our tally extension and can download the item from tally and then after can upload it on transact now coming to the next part which is a more advanced option in more advanced option you can add your item category you can do a stock transfer physical stock reconciliation uh, which is used in order to update the stock by checking physically and a vendor mapping feature is also there which will help you in setting up uh, multiple prices for same item for multiple vendors including discount and remaining things Inventory setting is there uh, by which you can go into our settings module and then after can make the changes like you can add a store, you can add your unit of measurement and there are multiple more features available in settings module. Now, uh, this is our inventory dashboard. As you can see that each and every field is there, item ID, item name. We do have provided sorting option and search option here, current stock, price, all the additional field will also get displayed here. Uh, you can use the filters to go ahead and check the st multiple store stock or you can uh, just put the category like product and service which you want to see and status as well which is all low stock excess stock you can use a uh, check uncheck option to hide unhide columns as well uh, which you don't want to see in your inventory you can uh, quickly just go ahead and hide it and accordingly it will not get displayed you need to click on done and then after please check only the uh, columns which i selected are coming in my inventory dashboard now coming to the next which is second is the inventory approval feature is there inventory approval feature will help you like uh, if you have just set up your inventory approval inventory deduction or addition on manual approval so whenever any process will be created or any stock movement will happen approval will come into your inventory you need to go ahead and select it and you can approve or reject it as per your requirement stock movement helps you in checking all the details or uh, including documents which are created by uh, manual adjustment or stock transfer or by using this filter you can go ahead and check this manual adjustment stock transfer physical stock reconciliation also you can hide and hide columns here uh, it is provided now coming to the barcodes here are the list of all the barcodes which are assigned on the item so whenever any um, inventory inward or outward happens you can assign a barcode on that inventory movement and accordingly you can check that in our barcode module so this is our uh, inventory module features and this is how you can use it in the very below you can see that there are a few of the cards provided negative stock low stock excess stock you can use this to see uh, specific items like suppose if I go ahead and click on excess stock only four items which are in excess stock according to the maximum stock level will get displayed you can go to our inventory dashboard and can check your entire inventory status along with uh, what are your stock valuation what are your top selling items and top bought out items top bought out items excess stock and low stock can be also displayed here I hope this video will be helpful to you have a good day ahead